Welcome back guys to another episode of my career mode. This is season 3 with Alpine and today's ep- episode 4 in the streets of Baku. If you've watched my channel, I be- uh, I've gone well around Baku all along. So let's hope that we can convert uh, this race into another race victory from pole position maybe. Anyways, as usual, I will see you guys after the run. And that's the end of the run. The sectors were pretty good, and I think it's good enough for pole position. And yes, it is. We got pole position by about almost one second, which is insane. And it is a good position. Pole position. It's an amazing start. But can we convert this start into a race win? That's the main question. Anyways, enough of talking. Let's get straight into the grid. From the back of the grid, Sunoda, Sargent, Elbon, Halkenberg, Magnussen, Ricard- Ricardo, Gasly, Bottas, Hamilton and Piastri qualified low. Joe Guan Yu, not bad. Norris, Russell, Perez, Declare, Sainz, Verstappen, Alonso, Stroll and me in pole position. Anyways, it's almost lights out and five lights. And it's lights out and away we go. We turn in to the left a little bit to cover off Lance Stroll there. And we do manage to successfully defend him. And we keep the lead going to turn one despite running a little bit wide there. And Alonso has had the shocker of a start. He has dropped down three positions minimum below P4 where I can see. Verstappen now up into the podium. P3 for him. Carlos Sainz is now P4. Well, now it's a rather chill race but Lance is trying to keep the pressure on. Keeping within about like four tenths of us. Because you're going to try to use a little bit of ERS to pull away just a little bit so that we don't have to worry about them. But Lance Stroll is closing in now. Three tenths. And now we're going to try to pull away with some ERS, checking our rear mirrors. He's right behind us just now for a second. And now we are holding up a train of Stroll over Steppen and Sainz. This corner is where I should usually be quite worried because we have had quite a few instances where we hit the barriers here. But right now, pace seems okay. It looks like we can keep the lead as long as we don't make any mistakes. Lance Stroll once again keeping the pressure on. He was below 3 tenths of a second at one point. Now he's 5 tenths. And that was a good sector too from us. Now Verstappen is out of one second range of me. 
which is, I guess, a good sign, which means we're pulling away. But we need to hope that Lance Stroll can pull away as well in that case, so that Verstappen doesn't get DRS off him. Lance Stroll now keeping the pressure two tenths. He's going to try to make a move on the inside of us. We can see him there. We're going to use a little bit of ERS to try to stay here. We're going to jerk a little bit to the left and we will keep the position but we run slightly wide was that Lance Stroll's plan all along Verstappen has now passed Lance Stroll Sainz has as well now Verstappen is the one behind me what it was a 2-3-4 in the order Stroll Verstappen Sainz it's now Verstappen Sainz Stroll but the Verstappen trying to overtake us didn't quite make it Sainz is going to try to go on the outside he does make that corner there and he will get up in the second place. Signs, what an incredible move by the smooth operator. As we do a little bit of a corner counter accident. Of course, we're focusing on the battle behind us. Signs is now right on our tail. We try to warm up the tyres a little bit. Uh, Signs still quite behind us. We are separated by like two tenths to each person. Now three tenths now. Uh, but Signs is doing a pretty decent job. All three of them are actually. Signs will step and stroll. All have. There are moments when they try to overtake me as you go through that corner rather safely, which is a good sign. Right now, Lance Stroll seems to be dropping backwards a little bit. I think there's something wrong with Lance Stroll's car, or it's just that he lost his pace. But signs of a step in, still very quick, eager to get past me to get more championship points. As we set another great sector to lap. Signs trying to keep it within 5 tenths of a second He's closing the gap now To me on this straight line LP doesn't have much speed on the straight line And I think he will try to go uh, Try to pass me On this start finish straight once more Like the other two people did Right now Signs is on there We go defend Signs a little bit Verstappen now Is invited to join the party He's going to try to overtake Signs. Will he be able to do it? Yes he will uh, Sainz manages to come back at him and those two are fighting so much we have put off one second of, away from them or, or not or not okay yeah, yes we have now one second away from them because those two are fighting that much Sainz once again back into second place Verstappen once again fighting with him Verstappen up to P2 now and all of a sudden Lance Stroll is out of the top 4 as well Sainz once again back into P2 Alonso Stroll's teammate has taken the fourth position. Alonso also passed Verstappen. Three of them having a great battle there. That this is very nice to watch as we pull off into the distance. Sign Verstappen once again passes back Alonso. Uh, but Alonso is now also passed by Stroll. I think this is a four-way battle now for P2 so between Sainz Verstappen, Stroll and Al Alonso. As we almost hit the barriers there, we try to save the car. We run a little bit wide there. That allows Sainz back within one second of us, but we're just going to pull away more. And now Sainz, Verstappen, Alonso is your third, uh, second, third and fourth respectively. All about one second away from each other. This has been a hectic of a race for the people behind me. And for me, it was a relaxing one. As you approach the final sector, try, probably going to win this race, hopefully. As we enjoy these little moments in the career, and this will be another race victory added to our tally. As we come across the start finish straight and finish almost uh, more than two seconds ahead of the smooth operator Carlos Sainz in second place, with Verstappen rounding off the podium in P3. And Paris takes the fastest lap. The king of Baku does once again, but he's not on the podium this time. And we do win the race. After two rather difficult drives, I would say, we have won another race since the first race. And where would that put us in the standings? Well, let's take a look. And the driver standings were back. And in the constructor standings, we are in P4. Not bad, I would say. But there can, we can be improved and let's hope we can get a better result with securing the Drivers' Championship and Constructors' Championship for this season. And that is all for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.